Well, praise the Lord in Jesus' holy and blessed name. What a beautiful day it is to be in Jesus. Oh, and amen. Amen. And today we're going to share just a little bit of time talking about the beauty of the good news. There was a famous evangelist who used to open his crusades with the words, God loves you. And that is so true. God loves you. And for his glory and in his love, we were created. And created in such a way to have choice. Not robots or so designed to love God, whether we would want to or not, but literally have the choice to choose and receive the love that God first loved us. So now we love God and one another because God first loved us. That we can receive that love and walk in that love. Now this love is not sensual or you know, and all that. Kind. This is the very love of God. God is love. It is a attribute of God. It is his character. He is love along with lots of other things, but love, and it's oh so special. And you'll, you'll know it when you know it, when you experience it for yourself, just how special this love really is. And it conquers, indeed, in a very special way. So in a world today filled with bad news, with all the hate and war and killing and, and division and all that separates and divides and devours that we see going on in this world today, worse and worse, day by day, it grows worse and worse, the divides deeper, the hatred separates. And in the midst of that comes news, good news, the true good news of the day. God loves you. And because God loves you, the Father sent the Son to be the Savior of the world. Yes, it is that good news. The good news that there is hope. That there is salvation. There is an answer to the evil and the sickness and the disease, the hatred. And it's found in Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, who came and bled and died upon the cross, was buried in the tomb and rose again the third day. Jesus is alive. Our Savior is a living Savior. Yes, indeed. And this Jesus has done what it takes to remove all that sin and iniquity that separates you from God now and has you lost in a world of darkness, not controlled by yourself, even though you may think you are, you are not. You may call yourself your own God, but you are not. Oh no, but there is a true God, a true and living God. And in Jesus Christ, we find that salvation, that hope, that truth, that absolute truth, that all the schemes of men will not save them, all their plans and motivations to change the world will not save them or save the world. Salvation is found in Jesus Christ, in Christ alone. So as you read the headlines and see the struggles and the fights, know that that is not the truth. The answer is not found there. 
in those things, but in a very simple truth. Both in Matthew and Mark, we find a conversation recorded. We usually use the Matthew version, but we're going to use the Mark version today just for fun. So, what are we to know? What is the, the good news, truly? Well, it begins here. And Jesus went out and his disciples into the towns of Caesarea Philippi. And by the way, he asked his disciples, saying unto them, Whom do men say that I am? And they answered, John the Baptist, but some say Elias, Elijah, and others, one of the prophets. And he saith unto them, but whom say ye that I am? And Peter answered and said unto him, thou art the Christ. And he charges them to hold that because it's not time for that to become public knowledge yet. But thou art the Christ. The Matthew version adds, thou art the Christ, the son of the living God. Indeed, he is the Christ, the anointed one, Messiah, the anointed one, capital A, capital O, anointed one, the one that the father sent to be the savior of the world. And there is no other. He is the one. <laughs> and one is one. And he is the one who was sent to be the savior of the world. He was born without sin, lived a sinless life, hence a perfect lamb of God without blemish, without spot, not blemished in being born of sin, the virgin birth is absolutely essential to knowing that this Christ, this Jesus is worthy to be the sacrifice for your sins. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God and are in need of a savior. And that savior is this Christ, Jesus the Christ, period. Without blemish, born of the virgin birth, no sin passed on through the seed of the man, conceived sinless, and lived a sinless life. He did not sin in his life. He was without spot, not spotted by the world and the things of the world. A worthy sacrifice, the price required for your salvation. His blood, innocent blood, shed to pay the penalty, the price, of the sin that separates you from God. Sin that you can not repay for. There's no good works you can do. All the fighting and all that is not going to change and save the world. Only Jesus can save you. There's no work. You can't buy it, you can't steal it, you can't borrow it. We always tell you that because it's the truth. It's a gift. It is the gift of God, eternal life in Jesus Christ. Now that's good news. And to know this, that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him and what he has done, his finished work, shall be saved and not perish. Believe on Jesus today. You can confess your sins and know that God is just and willing to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. All our sins, all unrighteousness, all means all. There is no sin that you've committed that if you confess and ask forgiveness of that God will not forgive you for. When indeed, there is hope, there is love, 
a love that saves. And it is found in the good news of Jesus Christ and Christ alone. Today, brothers and sisters in Christ out there, be comforted in your knowledge of the truth of God's word, the truth of our salvation in Jesus Christ and Christ alone. Be bold, be bold, be not afraid. We have the very peace of God. My peace I give unto you, not as the world gives peace, false peace, all the peace that the world out there seeks and is, is fighting for is a false peace. It's made between liars. It will not stand. It cannot stand. But the peace of God is true peace. And we have that peace. Therefore, we can, with his spirit dwelling in us, have the very boldness of the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit of God. We can stand and share the good news. And yes, the world as it fights and destroys and eats and devours will come against it. Because any way that is not their way is a way to be destroyed. And so they're going to come and attempt to do that. But stand and be bold. And know that Stephen, on the day he was stoned, stood and was bold, told the truth, and was stoned to death for it. But that he saw Jesus standing on the right hand of the Father, ready to receive him into glory. We can know that that's true for each and every one of us today who are in Christ. And folks out there today, if you don't know Jesus as your savior, today's the day. God loves you. He does not desire that you perish in your sin, but that your sin be forgiven. You might have a right relationship with him. And it's in Jesus Christ today. Believe and receive forgiveness of your sin. Believe in Jesus and receive forgiveness of you. Confess those sins. Get him out. He knows it all. He knows it all. So tell him. Confess those sins. And know that whether you remembered them all or not, that in asking for God to forgive you in those things, you are forgiven. For the ones you remember and the ones you don't. For the things you're not sure were sin. God knows them all. Today, believe in Jesus, that your sins may be forgiven, that you might be cleansed from all unrighteousness, that you will be filled with his spirit, Christ in us, the hope of glory, the very spirit of Christ will dwell in you, dwells in the believer, the gift of eternal life, all in the good news of what Jesus has done and accomplished for us. So today, believe. Oh, brothers and sisters, share it. Oh, folks out there, believe it. For in all the turmoil and chaos we find around us, those things will not get better. They're not going to save the world. The world is not going to save itself. It's going to take Jesus coming again. Oh, that he may find us being about our Father's business and walking in Jesus' name, walking in the very spirit of God, that he might say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Blessed words to hear. For Jesus is coming again, and sooner rather than later. Today, now, before this time of grace, 
through faith in Jesus Christ is complete. Believe. For once he comes, oh yes, all will believe. Those of us who have believed unto eternal life. Those of us or those out there who have not, you will. You will bow. You will confess. But it will be to damnation. Today, hear the good news that you can be saved from your sin, saved from the evil and destroying of this world, and know God loves you. Oh, and amen, 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 and amen.